Hello everybody and welcome back. Now in this lecture we will cover our first program that we will use which is called Mac Changer. It allows us to change our Mac address which can be used for multiple things such as for example if on a particular wi wireless network um, there is a blacklist or whitelist which is based on the Mac addresses you can bypass that with simply changing your Mac address. Now the program that we will use is called Mac Changer. If you just type here in the terminal Mac Changer, you will notice that it will print the usage of the command. So here it says we need to type Mac Changer, options, and then the device. Now, in order to check out our available options, we can type here, as it says, try Mac Changer dash dash help. So we will type Mac Changer dash dash help. And it will basically show us right here some of the available options that we can use right now in order to find out what our MAC address is we want to use this option which is minus minus or dash dash show or minus s. Now if we just type here MAC changer minus s it will say that we incorrectly used this program because we didn't specify the device. Now this device basically means your network interface card you might be having multiple interface cards, so we want to pick one. Uh, if you type here IF config, as we covered in the previous tutorials, it will print you up with your network interfaces. Uh, here I only have loopback interface and the ETHO interface, with you, which I use to connect to the internet, so I will use this one. If I just repeat the command changer minus S and then ETHO, it will print uh, my current MAC address and my permanent MAC address, with in, which in this case are both the same, because we didn't change it yet. Now, if you have multiple interfaces, just pick the one you use currently and just specify it at the end of the command. Now, let's type here once again the MAC changer dash dash help in order to see what else we can do with this program. So. We covered this part, which is show, showing our current MAC address. Now, let's say we want to change the MAC address. We can look some of the options. Here it says set fully random MAC address, which we can do with the minus R or dash dash random. So let's try to put the random MAC address and see what happens. If we type here MAC changer minus R, which stands for this option right here which is set fully random MAC address and then we specify once again our network interface we can see that right now our MAC address has changed as you can see right here new MAC is this one the previous one was this one so if we want to show our MAC address again we, we can see that it has changed oops I forgot to specify the interface we can see that current MAC address is a different one from the permanent one. And we can see that we successfully changed the MAC address. But let's say for example you want to bypass the whitelist of the MAC addresses, you would want to specify a specific MAC address. So we can do that with this command, which is basically dash dash MAC and then specifying a MAC address. Let's say for example we want the this MAC address. Let me just open another terminal right here. Let's say we need to have this MAC address right here. We can try to get it with the minus M command. We just move this right here. So if we run once again MAC changer minus we will go dash dash MAC. And now we will set here the MAC address. Here we will put equal. I'm not sure if we need to put equal right here. We will try with that first and then two two three three four four five five six six seven seven and then we will specify our network interface. So if we see right here it changed our Mac to the specific Mac address that we wanted it to change to. So right now once again if we type Mac changer minus minus show whoops no, it is like this. Yes, I always forget to specify the network interface. We can see that our current MAC address is 223344556677. And our permanent MAC is our normal MAC address, which doesn't really change. 
Oh yes, if we want to, we can reset back to the original permanent hardware Mac with the minus P command. Now, if you finished with your attack, for example, and you want to change this IP address back to the, let me just type here again, to the normal, uh, not IP address, the MAC address, to the normal MAC address, which is our permanent MAC address, you can do that with minus P command. So let's try that, MAC changer minus P, and then our network interface. And we can see that the new Mac is now the same as the permanent Mac. And now we are back to normal. We can just type here show again and we are the same as we started before using this program. And this is a useful program in for you to change Mac address. You can even put it uh, to change it at the boot up of this machine. So it changes basically every time you restart the machine, it will change your Mac address which can be used to provide a little bit of anonymity, but I don't really use that. You can if you want to. And uh, that's about it for this program. It is one of the simple ones, so we will cover it first. In the next lecture we will cover Google hacking, which is also pretty simple. So I'll show you that in the next lecture, and I hope I see you there, and take care.